very proud to call lawyer Moses Boamoni a friend. He's really an amazing man when you consider the body of work that he has accomplished in these last 60 years. It is quite phenomenal. He is, yes, a lawyer, but he is also an academic. He was president of the Ghana Boxing Association, has interest in football. He, and for me, the most important uh, of all of his accomplishments is also president of the Boys Brigade Council of God. With Boys Brigade, he and I share uh, something because we were both brigadiers. And so whenever we meet, we talk about how to expand the brigade in Ghana. And I must say, under his leadership, the brigade is expanding very quickly in Ghana. And I want to thank him for that. When you look at, I mean, what I like about Moses Fawamuni is that he is someone who is serving God. He's not a politician, he's serving this country. And so you see in him, you know, the values that the brigade taught us all these years ago. He's an honest man, he's a trustworthy man, he's a caring man, very inspirational man, a very disciplined man. No wonder he is sure and steadfast and is very, very uh, amazingly successful. Because he has made crisis uncle. And he has been very successful in many things that he has done. And I want to congratulate you. Um, the battles have not been easy. And the battles you are fighting are not easy battles. But he is very clear in what he wants to do for Ghana. He has done a lot for Ghana already. He has trained so many lawyers, uh, including the new majority leader, uh, his good friend, Alex Afrenyo uh, and many others, such as Kojo Bongkuma, and many, many ministers. Uh, he has done a lot for Ghana and we want to appreciate him and thank him. But it's very clear that with God at the center of his life, the celebration that we are having this evening is a testament to his placement of God at the center of his life. We are not having a big party of dancing and singing and eating. We are here in the church to thank God for his life and for his accomplishment. This is how he has chosen to celebrate this. And I'm not surprised he chose Psalm 103 uh, as part of the scripture reading to thank God for what God has done for him. We are very, very grateful for him. And because he has chosen to serve God and to serve God, I know that that cannot be easy for his family. That cannot be easy for his wife and children because you are sh sharing him with the rest of the country. Many, many hours that he has to spend helping others uh, and not necessarily being at home all the time. I think you will understand that it is for the greater good because he is serving God and he is serving this country. I'm so, so happy to call him my friend. I ask you to continue the battles that you are fighting, no matter how controversial they are, because God is leading you and you will be successful by his grace. Thank you so much. God bless you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. God be with you. Thank you very much.